Okay guys, as you can see here, I have my Rustler and I wanna switch out the motors. As you can see, this one right here, it's a Dynamite 3300 KB motor and it's a very efficient motor. It only uses 45 amps. You know, here I have a 60 amp ESC and I wanna, it's, this motor is more efficient than the one that I have here. It's like a generic one. But my problem is, as you can see, this one uses a four millimeter banana connectors I believe this one's only uses three millimeter I think it is or 3.5 something I'm not too sure so since the ESC um, has like bigger um, adapters I mean connectors I'm gonna try to make this fit by wrapping some copper wire around it you know because copper is like supposed to be very conductive so I think it won't build up resistance so let's get to it okay so as you can see I have like a uh, fair amount of wire here so let's like remove the um, rubber cover like that that rubber and it's supposed to wire let's get a good amount of wire here also with this motor I've been going on, on thermal shutdown a lot I mean this motor uses 90 amps for in you know this is a 60 amp PSC so you know off-road that this thing is just like making a lot of heat and stuff and you no, know, as you can see, I have like the four, like trenches so all like like on the four on the four wheels. So yeah, that's like a lot of weight. So this is a lower KB, so you know it will handle the weight and all that. Okay, so here I got a good amount of wire. So now let's take one of the connectors and let's see if this will work. I'm gonna try to wrap the wire around. You know, there are actually a lot of like options I can do. I can solder and all that, but I don't want to make this a permanent connection. So yeah, you also want to have like a tidy connection too, because so that though they won't disconnect while you're running. So yeah, try to make it look nice. Okay, so as you can see, I already put some wire on the, on the tip of the blue connector. Okay, let me focus it a little bit better and it won't focus so well, sorry for that as you can see you know i added too much wire so i removed some of it and it's looking nice in there as you can see if we take the connector like so this one it'll get in nice and tidy so like you know you just want to like put the right amount of wire in there and i suggest to put some tape around this so that you can support this because you know so that it could be like or stronger and it won't disconnect by itself so that's what I wanted to say and let's do the other wires okay so as you can see the connectors are done um, everything is nice and there is like a strong connection the copper wire is actually gonna keep them nice and tight but I put some liquid electrical tape over the connections so that it can be a little bit more secure and it will come undone while I'm you know, riding off road. So, as you can see, this is what I use liquid electrical tape. It's just like a pain, really, and then it gets hard, like rubber. So, it's pretty nice, one. and yeah. So, that's it. Hope this helped a little bit. So, yeah. Here is the new motor.